Hey there everyone, Hitesh here, back again with another video and I was a bit hesitant to record this video because I realized that, hey, I'm introducing a lot of new tools to people and they might come to me and say, hey Tesh, uh, this looks like a sponsored video or something. And it is not. I don't even know the founder of the product, have a contact of nobody, <laughs> nobody from the product itself. It's just a good thing, which I love. And it, this is something which is helping me to teach better and making my life a little bit more productive. So I thought, ah, let's just leave everything else. I want to share my thoughts. That's why this channel was created. So I will do that. So hey there, everyone. In this video, I would love to walk you through with the new tool that I'm using for teaching. It's absolutely free again, and this helps me to teach a lot better. So I thought just a quick share of thoughts about why I prefer this and why I'm using it. Uh, yes, this tool is also having a paid version. I'm not on the paid version and I don't know the founders. I have no contact with the team at all. So yeah, that's the disclaimer. It feels really bad to have disclaimers in almost everything these days. But anyways, this is a pretty fantastic tool. Uh, in case you are learning on your own, want to teach something on the online, this is fantastic, which I love. So just sharing that. Uh, so you might have noticed there is a tool known as Excalidraw, Excalidraw, uh, which I have used a lot. And in fact, you might have noticed that I use this quite a lot because this is a fantastic tool which I use for diagramming a lot of things which I teach in the class, explanation videos. It, it It's really nice. It out of the box works. But these days I have actually switched to another similar tool, which is almost like that. And I think is somewhat built on top of this. This is known as Eraser. Uh, so yes, they do have uh, their own paid version as well. I'm not affiliated or associated with them. I just found this a little bit nicer than Excalidraw. Uh, still, I'm most of the time using Excalidraw. But these days, I'm planning to actually switch on to this one for teaching purposes. It's really nice, especially when you're teaching a bootcamp or a live class or something. It's nice. Let me show you some of the uh, details and things about it. So this is the one. Uh, you can just create an account on eraser.io. And uh, this actually allows you to have all these details. So I was explaining these things, the reducers and all of that. And notice here, this is a diagram which was generated by my code. <laughs> yeah. So notice here how easy it is. Uh, they actually use some of the AI where you can actually uh, give them some code and based on your code and the logic flow, it will automatically generate a diagram. This is such a remarkable thing for me to teach new students that how to understand the code or visualize the flow. Once they visualize the flow, then I can write the code according to this flow. This is really nice for the teaching perspective. So I start, it says generate the password. We generate a password process. Uh, then we simply check if, it, if numbers are allowed. If no, then do something else. If it is allowed, let's add a string to the number. Let's add a number to the string. Uh, then simply special characters, if that's allowed, yes or no, we do those things. Set password and end. It's a pretty nice flow. And these all things are generated. So what you can do is you can just press slash key and then it says diagram as a code, figure, shape, icon. So I'm kind of impressed with this. There's also a device frame that I can use a phone or tablet or a browser to explain some of the things that, hey, your browser will make a request or something like that. It's fun, it's cool actually to teach this way that, hey, there is a browser or maybe there is a phone. So I can just go ahead and say, hey, this is my phone, all keyboard, all keyboard. <laughs> I love that. So. And there we go. We have now a phone, a mobile phone. So both of them are your client making a request to the server. It's fun. It's cool. And uh, not only that, if you just check out their diagram as a code, there's AI diagram, Cloudflow, cloud architecture, entity relationships. There's there's a lot more. I'll show you the entity relationships that we are using. Uh, so this is AI diagram. You can copy and paste any of your code snippets and it will generate a code based on your law. Although in the free version, there is a limit. I wish they could offer me uh, something more for teaching purposes. Uh, but hey, uh, no regrets, no regrets, no asking, nothing like that. But it is cool. It is a cool tool. Okay. Uh, not only that, uh, you'll notice that they actually give you some of the uh, technical docs and examples as well that, hey, maybe you want to explain the system architecture. So there is a system architecture template given to you that, hey, this is my API gateway look like, Lambda makes a call, main server. Explanation wise, this is really, really good. All these icons and everything are cooked in. Uh, Excalidraw is also good, but they don't have this diagram. So <laughs> that's why I'm actually looking forward for this one. And not only this, 
we have a lot of uh, technical docs and all of that data flows. Uh, this one is actually my favorite user data model. So this is something really, really nice. So you have these data models, which helps you to understand and visualize that how we are going to build our application, especially when I'm teaching the backend part and all of that. Uh, this is nice. I can just have all these things uh, quickly get ready for me. And I can even open the editor to actually see that, hey, my user model looks like this. Uh, what kind of entity relationship do we have? So all of this thing can be done. In fact, we are actually using this uh, for building a really complex uh, tutorial in the future. Uh, so we are working on users and videos and whatnot. So all these things are there. Uh, we can just simply work for it can click on open editor, it opens up, uh, we can see all the details, there is entity relationships and how things are associated with each other. It's really nice to explain things to user and that's why I thought let's make a video, maybe it's going to help some more people uh, to actually explore these kinds of tools. Now yes, I'm still a big fan of uh, teaching on the iPad because I can just draw everything based on me but if I can just share my screen and show all the things here, why not? Why not to just move on to this one? Uh, they have a couple of modes like product requirement, technical docs, uh, system architecture. Uh, there's a lot more and everything is just slash away. So whatever you want, let's just say you are here and this is a little bit clumsy. You can just say sh slash and then you can have everything code block, uh, maybe uh, figures, shapes. So uh, figures are here. You can just try this out. It's pretty fun actually to have this one. I'll just give you. And by the way, the classic things are there. Uh, so your comments and frames and all of this. So there's uh, arrows and all of that. So maybe you want to draw an arrow just like this or just like that, or you want to just point to this one. So there is a rounded arrows and whatnot. So everything is there. So that's why I love that. And yes, I think uh, this video is intended for the people who are looking forward for any such resource. This is my new favorite uh, teaching tool, uh, which I use. And again, uh, not associated with anyone, but still I will be sharing more such tools in the future, which I use or I am genuinely impressed by them because this is why YouTube was made to share personal thoughts, to share the things which you like for all the audience so that they can also try them out. And without worrying about the people saying that, hey, this was a paid post or commercial. No, even if it is, uh, I think that's still worth it. I wish it was. Uh, but again, I think this is good. And if you want more such videos on the things and tools that I use on the daily basis, let me know. I'll just take a few minutes out of my day and we'll try to do that. Uh, by the way, I'm also dropping a React video in the evening around 8 o'clock. So watch out that as well. Let's catch up in the next video.